All right, little morsels, here we are in Brushy Creek Lake Park in Cedar Park, Texas. There are two gyms here. There's a half a dozen pokey stops. There is a uh, play area for the little ones. There is a splash pad uh, that we just discovered is only opened on weekends on in September which is a big letdown for little Ryland. He was ready to come out here and get wet. Uh, here is, where is our Weedle at? There he is. Look. Weedle. Look, look, you see my gun? He got a squirt gun. Yeah. As you can see by my map, there's supposed to be drowsies out here. There's a drowsy nest. And that's why we are here, is to try to catch some drowsy. Let's see if we can't find one. All right, there we got a drowsy. Let's take him. How big is he? A 564 drowsy. We're gonna give him a raspberry. How you doing, drowsy? We're gonna throw a great ball at you, but I don't think it's big enough. The great ball gets thrown. And he is ours. The drowsy has decided to become part of the group. Very nice. 564 drowsy. I think that's what one was. But I still show up another one on your back. All right. Moving on down the path. And speaking of, I do have my Snorlax with me now. He's going to walk along with me with the new patch. You can have your your friendly Pokemon walk along with you. My Pokemon buddy is going to be my Snorlax because I just need more Snorlax candy. Oop, there's another drowsy. Awesome possum. There's the drowsy and behind said drowsy is the uh, the park the swing set and whatnot over there that Ryland was uh, thumbing his nose up at earlier. He's a little upset because there's no water flowing in the splash pad because it's September. They turned off the splash pad. We were all looking forward to some wet and wonderful fun here. He's not happy. All right, Brushy Creek uh, Lake Park. There is a bocce court. There's two of them. Two bocce courts. Oh, look, there's a Pidgey. Let's get him. Hey, Pidgey. Come to me. All right, it's a pretty cool park. We're going to take a stab at this um, tower here. Yes, a battle. I wish to go with my battle. This is the gym. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this gym. There's a lot of critters in there. Doing all right so far. But there's like seven or eight critters in this gym hopefully I'll be able to uh, take it down all right well, we made it through the first guy Let's see if we can't get through this Flareon here we're pounding through him he doesn't like my water Pokemon what about you Executor can I take you down? Blub, 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 blub. Take that hydro pump. Oh, you low, you you know you love the hydro pump. Come on, give me one more. There we go. One more hydro pump. There we go. All oh, right, we took out three of the three of the opponent's Pokemon with just our first one. We're doing pretty good. I don't think we're gonna make it through this one. Give me a hydro pump. Give me a hydro pump. Ah. 
This Dragonite may take our first Pokemon down. Yep, there he goes. But that's all right because we got another one sitting right there, ready to go. Get in there and take down that Dragonite. Hydro Pump. Yeah, he's not going to like that, is he? All right, another Flareon. My water Pokemon were a good choice here. Hold it down. Hydro Pump. Get rid of that guy. All right, doing well so far. Super effective. Hydro Pump him out of there. Snorlax. All right, jumping up and down, doing his big Snorlax thing. Hydro Pump. Get some damage on his butt. God, they have so many hit points the Snorlax do. Body slam. Oh. Didn't do too much damage to me. Hydro pump him. Yeah. Come on, Paul McGoblin. What do we got next? Oh, my executor. Get in there. Wipe him out. Psychic. Super effective. Snorlax uses the body slam. We got a victory. The final one. Come on, use my superpower. This Arcanine's taking my guy down. Use your superpower again. Take him down. There we go. It's all right. Pounding away. Water pulse. Blub, 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 blub. Take that, Arcane. Arcanine. All right. Very nice. We're going to have to do that a couple of times, though, and able to take down this gym. Little Ryland Goblin's coming over to see what's going on. As Dad goes for the final level of this gym. Sounds like Mom caught a drowsy over on the other side of the park. Where were you? Where I am sitting here ripping down this red tower. We were trying to find you. Oh, I've been here. There was like seven guys in this tower, and I've slowly been ripping it down bit by bit. <laughs> She may be a little too late. Mom may help us if you can. Mom may be too late in helping. No, 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 she's gonna help. She's gonna help. And there it is. Paul McGoblin will be taking this gym. No, she... Are you up? Okay, little morsels. There was no uh, water pad at the last place that we were at and that really disappointed little Ryland Goblin. So we have come back to our neck of the woods, our hunting grounds, yeah. our stomping grounds. Our old stomping grounds. Our old stomping grounds, our favorite place to be, uh -huh. Auditorium Shores. And this is a good place if you want water pads. It, yeah, he's right. This is a good place if you want water Pokemon. There are water plenty. Yeah. Then you can go here and get some. There are plenty of water Pokemon in this area. He is correct. But more importantly, for Ryland Goblin, there's a splash pad. And uh, he's going to go play on it now. In fact, let's get that spinner for the splash pad. The Liz Carpenter Fountain, Ryland really digs it. All right, you can probably hear the water behind me all being watery. -e -e. <laughs> but it's, it's a good 100 degrees out here. Ryland wants some coldness. We're going to let him have it. All right, here we are with the fountains. Ryland's way over there on the other side. 
Oh, there's a slow poke. Let's get him. What are you doing, slow poke? 422. Do a raspberry. Magic car. Why are you being so flippy? I'll take it. Another magic car. But as you can tell, we're not really out here for the hunting. We tried that in other places today. We're out here today because it's got a water park, water splash pad, and Ryland Goblin really digs it. You're all wet, kiddo. I am the water coming in. I'm gonna walk up to the top of the hill, see if I got anything up there. The auditorium shores. We're on the Liz Carpenter Fountain side. Um, it's not my favorite place to come Pokemon hunting, but it is one of the better places that I've found to bring my family while I Pokemon hunt. It has things for other people in my family to do, uh, especially the water. Ryland really digs the water. So we find ourselves here a lot so Ryland can splash around and have fun and we can get some Pokemon hunting done. But uh, other than uh, the Charmanders, there's really not much out here. Charmanders, Magikarp, and occasional uh, Gyarados very occasional but I've seen two of them out here more magic carp a 10 boy you're a big one <laughs> we'll get you get in the basket of magic carp make room magic carp central here at auditorium shores It's also called Charmander Bay, but that's mostly on the other side of uh, Riverside Drive there. If you cross Riverside and enter the park on the other side there, there's lots of Charmander. Charmander Bay. But we're on this side, so we got... See, look. There's one sitting there. Magic Carp. But you can certainly hang out here at the bench on the docks. There's a water fountain. Look, there's a water fountain there. There's a nice dock area. City, there's the city skyline. The water fountain on the other side of the pond. Get in my Pokeball, Pokemon. Magic carp. I'm going to utilize this water fountain. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another Pole McGoblin episode. Please like and subscribe. Check out our other videos. And most importantly, my little morsels, we do what? No! Stay out of the cooking pot, little morsels. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.